Alright, so following the last video, we made a new change log to log all of the changes we made since the last video. And those changes are we made the cost of pay and spray to only take away $200 if it is less than or equal to that amount of money. And we've also made pay and spray only fix vehicles if you have that amount of money to spend. So. The only things we have left to add are make pay and spray only output that the vehicle is repaired at full health. So basically, even when the vehicle is at full health currently, it'll take away money and fix the vehicle, which if a vehicle is at full health, it shouldn't be doing that. It shouldn't be repairing the vehicle and taking the money. So we need to implement a function for that. And then uh, the last two things are, you know, the pain spray sound effects and all that, which are on the least priority list. So basically we just have like one more thing to do and then we can add the sounds and then it's basically a functioning pain spray. So as you can see right here, this is how we added this. I actually recorded this, but like the video was so long and I ended up having to like fix my script again, like I had to recreate it because I accidentally botched it and uh, had to go back and fix it the way I wanted to, unfortunately, which costed several hours. So I didn't want to go s scouring through video to figure out where I fixed the script and where I broke it. So this is just what I recreated. And basically it is, it is this uh, statement right here. So basically the way I figured out how to get this to actually work is previously my script, which you can see up here, the very first script that I used, I wasn't really paying attention to where the lines were and all that and how functions go line for line. So you'll see why this didn't work previously. So, um, so if the pet is in vehicle, which is pedestrian, which is the player right here. So if the player is in the vehicle, then it gets the local vehicle, which is the vehicle you're in. And then it fixes the vehicle that you're in. And if it fixes, it takes it takes the player money away, which is 200. And then says your vehicle is restored. And then if money is less than 200, then return false, which doesn't make sense because if it's already took the player money and it's already fixed the vehicle, then it can't really return this false. Like it's already true, like it already happened. So basically I needed to switch the if money less than 200 and take player money and put it further up. So it checks the player money is less than or equal to 200. And if it is, then it takes the money and fixes the vehicle. It took me way too long to figure that out, but fortunately, eventually, I figured it out. So that is why it looks a little bit different, which, you know, if you're just looking at this, it's like, oh, I mean, even for me, it's like that. But uh, you can see here now it says if pedestrian is vehicle, in vehicle, then it gets the local vehicle, which is the vehicle you're in. Then we create the get player money and then if the money is less than or equal to 200 then it takes the player money and then says your vehicle is restored and yeah so only if you have less than or equal to 200 dollars it takes the player money if you are less than 200 dollars then it does this down here um all right, let me re-explain that. If the player is in vehicle and has less than or equal to $200 and it takes the player money, says your vehicle's restored, then it, then we create the vehicle that it restores and then we fix that vehicle. So if the player has less than $200, then it does this if statement, which is money is less than $200, then this is the fix vehicle command again, and then it returns the fix vehicle as false. So all of this becomes false, and then it says failed to fix your vehicle. 
And then if you're not in a vehicle, then it says you're not in a vehicle. I'm gonna have to like mess with this because I'm gonna have to get the vehicle damage and all that and then implement it doesn't fix if it's at full health but we'll get to that later um i need to change this to marker one i don't really need to i'm pretty sure it's not really required but it would be ideal if i had multiple markers but only have one so it shouldn't be that big of a deal um, as this dude said down here that tried to help me as well yes we had to go through two people um, but yeah, he's saying if, uh, if this isn't marker one in its root, then if there was multiple markers, they would all do the same thing in the script. Um, but since this is just one script with one marker, I'm just going to leave it as root just to make things simple. And just cause I don't feel like if I mess up my script and it says root again, then yeah. We'll just fix that later if we need to, but we probably won't. This is basically just like... This is just like a tutorial thing, like to get better at scripting anyway. It's not like anything serious, but... We can see all this uh, pay and spray functions now. So it's already running. I don't know what I'm doing. So I could have just spawned the Banshee and did it that way, but... We're just going to grab this vehicle instead. Which is harder to damage, that's the only reason why I was using the Banshee. So we have $800. So it should say vehicle is restored and fixed vehicle. So we wait 5 seconds. Door opens, fixes the vehicle. Vehicle is restored. Um, We'll just keep doing it until we run out of money. So for this one, we're just going to show since, uh, I mean, obviously there's no function for it. So it's kind of weird, but yeah, obviously, um, since there's no function, it's just going to make the vehicle restored. Obviously the vehicle is at full health. So you're going to see it's going to be vehicle restored, still take money, which we don't want it to do. That's the going to be the last function that we implement is if the vehicle is at full health, it doesn't repair it and instead returns in the chat box, the vehicle is already fixed or repaired or whatever. So now you can see I have zero dollars and before when I had zero dollars, it was putting me at minus 200 and it was fixing the vehicle since it would make more sense to damage the vehicle. I'll just damage the vehicle just to show this works properly. Go in here, vehicle's damaged, says failed to fix your vehicle, didn't fix the vehicle because I don't have $200. So as you can see, the script is actually working properly now. If we go ahead and test it with a vehicle that is already at full health, should do the same thing. Failed to fix vehicle. And there we go. The fixing vehicle gets skipped and says failed to fix your vehicle, doesn't do anything. So there we go, the script is fixed and now the only thing we need to implement, as I said, is when the vehicle is at full health, it doesn't fix the vehicle, it doesn't take the money, basically returns the same thing as failed to fix your vehicle, but then instead says your vehicle is already repaired. That's what I'm going to make it say. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, um, basically I'm going to do what I said I was going to do in the previous video and maybe make like a speed art kind of thing. I think I know how to make it now. So that may accompany this video, depending on how long the video turns out, or it's going to be in a separate video. But either way, thanks for watching. And hopefully we have this fixed in just one more video and possibly even add the sounds as well in maybe that same video. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'm glad that I could actually make a pay and spray work for once. And I guess we could implement the marker to be bigger and all that too, like I wanted to. But yeah, you can see it also says 
you're not in a vehicle when you're not in a vehicle and still doesn't take your money which it never did but it uh, shows that the functions are actually working properly so just wanted to show you guys that and I'm going to try to fix the last bit of script and basically finish this project so I'll see you guys when that is done.